we go heading into Mirage here for a best of one game. Um, and I think it's going to be a, a tough one for Titan. Knife round already starting off, but I wanted to just get your opinion on this. I've asked Vendetta a couple of times, like, in Source, how good was RPK? He was, he, he was one of the best players. He was unstoppable. Like, Shox obviously also used to be uh, an extremely talented player. Uh, it was always between them two. Like, RPK could basically run the game himself. All right. He was unstoppable, he was fearless, he did whatever he wanted, and his aim was just so on point. So it was just extremely difficult to play against. And uh, obviously, he's not, I wouldn't really call it that he's at that level. Uh, he really wasn't when, he, when we went over to CSGO either, but it's... If he ever gets anywhere near the level that he used to be, the same when, you know, Shox had this massive run in CSGO, yeah. that's pretty much how we saw him. Like, that, that's what, that was every game for him in, in, in Source. And then, uh, same with RPA, like, you never saw him ha actually have a bad game. All right, then. Well, so, so maybe there is something to look forward for if you're a friend, fan of uh, French Counter-Strike. <clears throat> Could be something coming up like that in the future. I think we got the knife round done. It looked like Navi were going to win it, so they're going to start CT side, and Titan going to be on the terrorist side here. What kind of pistol round would you like to see from a terrorist team here on this map? Like, uh, just on a basic level, slow or a fast one? Um, I, actually, I, I actually prefer a fast round, uh, mainly because they, they have USBs. If they end up pushing catwalk or whatever, you have the long duels, and chance are you might be losing the entry. You don't want to let that happen. Uh, a team like Titan, you often see them. It's very un like it's very often that you see them buy at least one or two smokes during a pistol round and just do like an execute. And I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to see here today as well. I feel like maybe on a map like in uh, like on this they might, but I mean some of the more close maps like Inferno sometimes they'll actually just go like all armor. If yeah. Just, uh, like they were one of the few teams to start doing that. Uh, but I would say maybe all armor on this map is a bit of a risk. Yeah, because you, it's, it's, uh, it depends. Like, if you, if you end up rushing B, yeah, you can just play all armor if you want. But yeah. there's not a lot of teams that actually just end up rushing B nowadays. Yeah, they, most of the times, it's always going to be towards the A bomb site, mainly because the CTs often place that site retake. And yeah. it's, like a, it's like an easy, uh, easy way of saying, like, well, maybe we, we don't win the pistol, but at least we're going to get the bomb down. Yeah. Then that's why, like, most commonly, uh, people would buy just two smokes, rush the A bomb site, get the bomb down. Win or lose, at least we, do. At least we actually managed to get, to get some extra money in the bank. Yeah, and we'll buy a round early and then yeah. see if we can win it back really quickly. And obviously uh, a factor here, especially if Na'Vi end up winning the pistol round, is going to be Guardian on that AWP. We know how strong he can be on this map, on pretty much any map. And um, yeah, that could be a bit scary. Lately, though, we've actually seen Edward orping a little bit as well. So if Na'Vi want to go for that double up setup, They've definitely got the you know the power to do it in the, in the lineup. Yeah, and I mean Mirage is a map, uh, especially on this on the CT side, we can play double up if you, up if you want. Yeah. Uh, so it's definitely possible. Um, but, uh, but then obviously like there's no same person out there that would ever, for example, just give the op if they only have one to add to the other than Guardian. Yeah, yeah, no, you know? definitely not. Um, but I mean that's another thing here. We might be seeing a Guardian versus Kenny op battle, and that is definitely exciting. That's something you pretty much always want to see. Yeah. Um, yes, there, there are not that many people who can who can match Guardian or Kenny. So when they're both playing each other, it's uh, it, it gets to an interesting level. Definitely puts Skadoodle in there somewhere as well. But um, yeah, looks like we're about to go live here, and it's the one smoke setup here. Apex got it figured out, and the rest are just rushing right in here. Apex with them with the smoke, and they're gonna try and get the bomb down quick. Rushing into Flamey and dropping him, picking up the USPS. But Edward's going to get a good return. Existence drops Guardian and Zeus is going to go down. It's looking great for Titan right now here. Early on, bomb planted in a 2v4. And I love the fact that Existence is just going to run away like that. Why take the fight and give them a chance to get back in the game? Why not just simply win it? Kenny getting the one. He's going to get the second one as well. Dropping Seized and Edward both. And that was a solid round from Titan. Yeah, and you saw there the, the positioning of Navi. Obviously, they weren't even ready for... Titan just rushing up. It's very unorthodox uh, of them, but they weren't even aware of it. Like, they didn't ha have a single person on the site. Smoking off CT's bomb, running towards Connector, getting the bomb down, because obviously Navi already had planned on just having mid control and just gonna run over. It was a really good round by, by Titan. Yeah, it's a good approach as well to try and say, instead of us like focusing on putting the bomb down, we'll actually focus on clearing that site first and then, you know, getting the, staying the bomb down in A is fairly easy. It's more like holding the site afterwards that's a problem. So, um, yeah, they helped themselves a little bit there. And now a fairly aggressive movement here coming out from the Titan team, just rushing into the middle, jumping out into the window room, trying to take these fights. And they have two submachine guns and then three rifles. 
and uh, one of them is an AK as well here. Maniac going to be picking up the first kill on Guardian. They are fighting armored targets. Jump scout action from Edward and Seized picking up a double kill. And does Edward realize there's still a guy up there? I think he spotted out Maniac. This is going to be a really tricky round here. Seized getting killed in the middle, but a 2v2. And with that scout still in play means Edward gets a single shot on anyone and they're going to die. Yeah, and um, the, uh, like, the way that Titus has been playing this tournament so far, I've never seen him play like this. No. Anti-Eco just rushing up Cad. He's jumping by himself up Sniper's Nest, you know. Uh, it's, it's, it's very unusual to actually see Titan play like this. I, I, I do find it very uh, refreshing because obviously they needed to change something. I actually, I, I like the way they were playing this round all the way up until the point where they stopped. It seemed yeah. like if you want to go the aggressive route, then you should go all the way. As soon as you stop, you're sort of giving the, the other team a chance to adjust to it here. Edward showing up at the right time, but missing the shot. He's going to be jump scouting from the back lines. Try again. Seuss is coming in from behind. He's going to get the kill on existence. And now it's Maniac. Six seconds left. This looks like a round, but Navi can't lose. In fact, they've already won it here. Edward with a jump scout and Maniac going to be falling. I think Titan played that round all right, but slowing it down like that gave Navi just a chance to get back in the game. Yeah, I mean, they had the control. They, they were in the sniper's nest. They actually had um, the window for at catwalk as well because they double pushed it. You had one guy towards B where Edward was. So basically, they, had, they, they could basically just split B, but then ended up just staying in place in the middle, just getting picked apart instead of actually just, like you're saying, just kept on going. Well, triple deagle on the Titan team. Always exciting, but not always necessarily the right move. Not that many teams can make this work. It's been a couple there. I think Fnatic have been successful a couple of times with having quad or even five deagles on the team, but generally they can, they can be a big investment for a very little return. Guardian might be surprised in a second here. Kenny able to jump on over, and Apex calling it that he's right there, and Tech Nine close range will do that, so very important kill there. And pick up a rifle as well on Kenny, who actually has armor, Titan. Going for the return right away. Edward going to peek on out. He goes down to Kenny, who's going to go for another kill. Picks up a triple, jumps out, one bullet left. And tries to switch to the tech dying. Going to be taken out by Seized. Very expensive round for Na'Vi, but they do win it. And um, Titan, are they going to force? This time doesn't look like it. No, uh, Kenny bought an armor, obviously, because he had yeah. so much money. Uh, and knowing that they're going to have the double save anyway, so they, so they could, do get all the weapons that they need. And uh, the AWP on Kenny, he just opted to buy Tech9, buy an armor, and see what he can do with it. It's very good anyway, because like you're saying, it was a very expensive round for Na'Vi, so... Yeah, I mean, if they can break Na'Vi's economy early on in the half here, maybe not this round, but the next one, if they win it straight away, might cause a bit of, uh, of trouble here. It's also why it's important, I think, that Na'Vi do get a couple of kills in, in this round, at least. Uh, Sue's trying to make that difficult, getting two kills, and Edward shutting an RPK. And uh, some fairly basic teamwork coming in from Na'Vi, but it's still still good to see it. That was uh, three different people pushing into the middle at the same time. Like one connector, one window, one catwalk. So yeah. making it really hard for Titan to do anything, really. Yeah, that as well. And uh, they're, probably not, they're, they're probably knowing, well, they're not going to have armor anyway, so let's just get some... You know, let's just finish it round fast. Just do it yeah. together and just finish it. Don't let them actually go into the side, because that's when it gets a little bit dangerous. Yeah, I like that. Double up setup on the terror side for, for uh, Titan is a little bit different, isn't it? Like, you normally, if you do go double up, it's on the CT side, and normally you do it later in the game if you have a lot of money. So very early on on the terror side as well. Kenny, obviously one of them, but the other one on existence. Apex trying to make his way up through uh, on the pass, and it's going to get taken out. Core comes through and says there's a guy holding there, so Kenny feeling confident. And he's actually boxed in by existence on the other side too, so if he tries to move out of the connector now, he could definitely get picked off. Oh, but they, I think they managed to smoke off Existence there, so he's going to have to run away. Maniac, though, jumping up on Tetris. is going to be able to take down Flamey. And now we will be in a 2v2 with the bomb still in middle, making its way up. they got to be careful. Edward, yeah, up on the box and getting a double kill. That's such a great boost. Yeah. Yeah, you don't really expect it either. And uh, just leaving Existence here. The thing about this map, when you actually... He might actually win this, so I'm going to hold my thought. Yeah, he got the kill, but he's going to walk right into C's and ends up getting taken out 4-1. Yeah, and the thing about this map, on the, C, on the T side, I really do not uh, agree on the idea of having two ops. The reason for that is that, like, yeah, in the beginning of the round, sure, you can spread out, you can go Palace with one off, you can go mid with another one. If you don't get those initial picks, you then trying to hit a site will be damn near impossible. Yeah. 
because you can't do anything with him. Yeah, you can hold you can hold long distance angles, but let's say that your AK is actually end up falling, you're gonna be stuck there. You're not gonna be able to do, to do anything about it. And here we see, this is t this is actually a typical uh, existence kind of style here. It's like okay, eco, we're not gonna use a timeout. Let's just talk about it. Uh, we have yeah. time, and you know if they end up coming, then we'll try and kill them. But um, now basically. I, I, so there's nothing weird with this for the people watching. This is actually very common, especially yeah. for existence, where he just takes it. He tells his team, "Don't do anything. Let's just talk about this. Like, what can we do? With, like, what are they doing, and how can you to counter it?" Yes, and I mean, for a team that is, I mean, actually, I think Titan used to be at least at one point they had a fairly like strong emotional team. Like they they could they could go through a lot and still kind of survive. Ooh. Oh, it's a nice shot from Apex there. Taking down Guardian, but it feels like right now they're, they're emotionally a little bit fragile, so you want to take the time to calm everyone down and be like, look, it's just 4 1, yeah. we'll be fine, we can get back, no problem here. Uh, which is definitely true, but you got to believe it, uh, otherwise it's going to be an issue. Flamey with the P90 returning onto existence, and they try and catch um, Edward, I think, who's playing right at the edge there, but not going to work out. They're running into the fire and shooting each other in the back. Definitely not a good combination. Maniac going to be taking down Seized, and still uh, an expensive round here for Navi, losing a couple of people. And Maniac trying to make it a third one, Zeus somehow surviving. That would have actually been an important kill if you got that third one. Yeah. But now it's back to Kenny with the single AWP and three Molotovs. Is it time to go for something very basic here, just like a default A execute? You could. I mean, the thing is, especially on this map, because even if you know how, how Navi likes to play, you saw there on the, the round that they had two ops. They only had this one guy on the A bomb side, right? So. Just starting off as a standard, just trying to get a pick or two, and then just end up falling back. Make sure you just have middle control, uh, so they don't push up. Um, and then later on, just, just do an A smoke round. Yeah, and speaking of smokes, that's a nice one going into the middle of the map. I think it might be landing in the window, or just on catwalk. It's kind of hard to tell right now, but... Guardian pushing under past the smoke did land in window over there, so that's pretty uh, well done as well. Edward going to be taking an RPK. And Apex obviously falling to Guardian. So right now it's a 3v5. And Titan, if you look at the minimap here, they've made almost no progress on the map. They're in the middle, but they actually need to get into some sort of bomb site before the party can really begin. Zeus going to go down to Kenny, pushing out of the smoke. That's not an easy shot to make, but um, a very critical one. And maybe Kenny's going to have to carry uh, them back into the round if they really want to try and win it here. Already down to 20 health. And I think someone was peeking into window as well. Flamey taking down existence. And we are in a 2v4 at the moment. Maniac making a courageous jump over into window room, but it's too little too late. He's alone against four people. He doesn't have the bomb. And <laughs> Guardian, not going to get that shot. Yeah, and uh, so far from Navi, I mean, they're playing good. They uh, Titan taking it slow, going to take over middle very, very slow after throwing that smoke from, from the B tunnel uh, into the window room. And then after all, that's what I was saying about like t taking mid control. So you actually don't let Navi do that because Guardian was really he was the only one guy uh, there holding uh, underpass. And then you have yeah. one guy in connector holding up mid. And the reason why he actually could take that duel was because they didn't take over mid first before you went underpass. And then it gets really difficult because you can't you can't actually revert dragon even though it's all the way in the open there. Well, Titan actually moving a lot faster this round, and I really like to see that. I, I you know, they kind of tested in the pistol and found out, well, speed is actually working really well, but they are still running into Susan Seized RPK with a good return, and Maniac to take down Flamey. Bomb is dropped up here, though. Seized is in control, and that means he's going to call for backup fairly quickly. So now it gets a little bit interesting here for the Titan team. They've got time to do this 3v3. They know where the bomb is, so they can guess where Navi are as well. But obviously... With the bomb being dropped like this, it's going to be a little bit more tricky. Yeah, but it's not dropped in a super bad uh, position. Nice flash. Oh, wow. And a headshot for Maniac. And you're right. Bomb easily picked up there. Seuss almost shooting his teammate. He's going to get the kill. And so will Edward. And that's going to leave Apex here to try and clutch it. 1v2. He's got the time, but they know exactly where he is. He gets one kill. And basic, again, basic teamwork here. Almost like instinctual, uh, like instinctive teamwork here from, from Na'Vi. Picking that up. And right now, Edward is top fragging at 12, 1, and 3. And I think that's, um, that's the tactical timeout here for, uh, for Titan. Yeah, I believe so. And actually, just uh, discussing that bomb drop there, for example, there's still, to this day, a lot of teams actually doesn't really consider. Yeah, they think that, oh, we have the bomb, we have the bomb, just everyone rotate, right? They don't really consider the fact that there's, there's a lot of situations where trying to hold the bomb is going to be very bad for you. 
Like, even if, yeah, even if the bomb is, is dropped, for that situation, for example, instead of just holding air, sure, you want to get the peak. It's not like he was playing very aggressive, but just make sure you can actually get out of there. Because chances are, if you end up falling, if you end up going down, yeah, yeah. sure, you're going to have more people there because obviously he called the bomb and they're going to have to rotate. But more, more uh, times than not, you're going to just end up falling because you're trying to hold the bomb where you don't really need to. Yeah, and you're holding in a really weird position where you might all be grouped up in, some, in a bunch there, so it might not be worth it here. Titan could go for a buy with like three AKs, two Galils, but you can tell that Navi are thinking they probably won't because there's that one UMP. So that and that's on Guardian out of everyone as yeah. well. So. so maybe a sign that they just want to make a little bit of money off of a round that they are expecting to be a, you know, just an, an armor or just a pistol round essentially. Yeah, I mean, just based off of money here, ju just if they really wanted to do something, you have Apex and RPK, they have 3.8K, AK. they can buy AK armor if they want, and then you can have Mid actually bought a Deagle. But you can have the others actually buying uh, Tech 9's armor and, and do a smoke round on A, for example, having those two AKs for the long distance and the Tech 9's uh, for, for close quarters, getting the bomb down on the, the A bomb site. It's perfectly doable with the money that you have. Or if, you're, if you don't feel confident in your abilities and you feel like, oh, we really need that off on Kenny, then sure, just buy the pistols that you are, um, but don't yeah. spend too much money and then just end up uh, doing the, 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 the stuff you might have planned for the next round. Um, Fnatic are notoriously good at, at doing these pauses and then coming up with a, with a couple of really big rounds right afterwards. You've got to hope for Titan right now that they can do the same because at 7-1, things are starting to look very bad indeed. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's getting uh, spiraling out of control. And uh, for, for Navi, it's not like they have... Sure, they, Edward has been playing good so far, uh, just holding that catwalk area, even picking up the AWP, like we were talking about coming yeah. into the game, where you do see dual AWPs nowadays. But it's not that they haven't, they, they've been doing anything in particular. They haven't pushed uh, any, anywhere. They haven't really gotten any map control. It's just that Titan is re really playing novice game here, where it's just you're not taking advantage of the fact that they're actually not do going aggressive. So you can actually take advantage of that and get more map control and do something about it. Well, we're going to have to see if the French team can come up with something big here. And um, it's going to be a single grenade on Apex, a little bit of armor on Maniac and RPK, who did have a bit more money, but otherwise n nothing fancy coming out of, uh, of Titan. And I, I have no idea why you'd buy an HE grenade instead of like a flash or a smoke. But I mean, in a, in a round like this, I'd be happy with a flashbang. You get yeah. the right flash off at the right time, you get a good kill. The way that I see it when you have a Deagle like that, having the HE, let's say you get the initial shot or the initial damage on the HE, one bullet with the Deagle, that's a kill, right? Oh. And considering they all, bought the, they all bought a bunch of, they bought three Deagles, you're not going to expect them to actually go somewhere. You're just going to try and go for the long duels, try and get a one shot, try and get uh, a kill or two. Well, Seuss seems to be temporarily trapped here, but he doesn't really have to move because they don't have anything that they can come and find him with, so no Molotovs to root him out. And he's going to get the one kill here. So you realize there's a couple of people in underpass, or at least one of them. The call is being made already. Kenny, last man alive. Not a lot that he could do here. It's going to be 8-1, and one, obviously. And Na'Vi coming out around like this with pretty much everyone alive, unless they can find Seuss here. It's, that's that's going to be it. So the Na'Vi economy is also going to be quite healthy at the moment. Yeah, and I mean, right now for Titan, if you just base it off of... Na'Vi's actually playing like they did on the pistol round, where... They try to get to at least have a bunch of people in mid. They don't necessarily have to push it, but they're very close to mid, the mid area. Having a round like that, we basically smoke off connector uh, and smoke off uh, the winter room. You boost one guy up there, or if he rushes up himself, you have one guy rush through the smoking connector and three guys towards A. You're going to catch them off guard. And that's going to leave the guys running, running towards A, having a clear shot on the people in connector. But I like this now. We, we will see a, a smoke run onto the A bomb site. Yeah, that was that standard round that we were talking about earlier. It's default execute towards this site, but there's a reason why it's a default. It works pretty well if you just get a couple of good kills here. Seuss jumping on over. He misses the kill, but he will get the one on Apex after Flamey fell inside the site. Seuss going to be sprayed down, and now let's see. Interestingly, Guardian has almost no kills in this match, so maybe now is his time to shine, because otherwise, this is looking like a really good round for Titan. Seized went down towards CT spawn, and now they're pushing in here, and that's a good kill from Kenny, shutting down Edward, the top fragger at the moment. Guardian going to get one kill in on Kenny, but they should be able to zone him out here. They've got three players left, and all they need is that bomb plant, and then they just have to hide. If they fight him now, I'll be, I'll be more than just a little bit disappointed. <laughs> bomb goes down. Grenade on out there, Maniac gonna 
despite the dust. And now Guardian trying to push up. And again, they don't have to fight him. He's going to put up a smoke, though. Now they might have to get a little bit closer. You can tell that they are anxious on the Titan side here. Is he going to try and run for it? No, he wants to check behind. He's got the flashbang out as well. That smoke is still going to be up. He's going to be right inside, but RPK will catch him. And a good defense there from the Titan team. So that worked out. Can they replicate that round again, do you think? Uh, I, I think you can, but maybe you don't want to go as fast as you did there. Uh, chances are Navi now will double lay down the A ramp, uh, considering that you were so fast the previous round, or even use that, use that uh, about top just to hold the back, back a little bit. Uh, if you do a little bit slower, you have one guy in middle for Titans, so we can actually fake it. Just throw one smoke or whatever. Yeah, we do see that here. Going safe strat. They do have the A execute uh, hard stop here in the auto sniper. No matter how many smokes you put down, that auto sniper in the back line is yep. going to do a lot of damage. Guardian picking up the kill. Sus with the auto getting the other one in. I mean, it's scary to imagine that Navi are playing this well with Guardian hardly being even visible in the game right now. It's just everyone else playing fairly well. Flamian sees who did come in very late to this tournament, no rest at all, you know, flying in from Russia, and they still seem to be performing at a pretty high level. Yeah, and uh, for, for, ti for Titans and here, trying to do the same thing again without doing anything before and doing it fast at the, at the same time. Yeah, Guardian picking up a kill on Maniac here, and they were trying something very similar. This time, Navi adapt, and it's just not going to work out here. RP can existence, but the worst thing is that you know, it's that, it's that ugly pattern. You win a round, you lose a round, the economy resets, and you're in a lot of trouble here. Although Flamey goes down, even though he must have known that someone was pushing that Guardian, saw him beforehand. Existence, last man alive in a 1v4, and he's not going to make it here. Triple kill for the Auto Sniper. Or double, sorry, for Susan. Triple for Guardian. Yeah, I like your saying here. You just look at Titan's money. They had two guys remaining, but they rounded to one previously. Uh, ended up only killing one person this round with no money. Existence going to opt to buy. We will see a full, not a full buy, but it's uh, just even out the money, everything. And Existence did have some more money to spend, so. Yeah, and actually, Seuss is top fragging out 15 and 5, so that's pretty impressive as well. Actually, uh, overtaking Edward. Trying for a bit of a fast execute towards the B bomb site. Seized eating a little bit of grenade damage, but he's still alive now. And they're gonna get a kill. Edward with the double. One of them a grenade, and Apex surely going to be falling any second now. Existence actually does pick up a double before he drops, but it's still not going to help them. And the Guardian's going to steal the kill away. See, he's trying to be uh, adventurous with the jumping M4. Yeah, and uh, sure, they don't have any money now, but the whole, the whole point of Titan's team has always been, you know, Apex, the entry fragger, Kenny has taken those long duels, getting, getting the frags, right? You don't really see that this game. If he would have had an op and just walking up mid, taking some duels, smoking off winter room, uh, taking a duel into Connector, for example, he would they probably had more of a payout than they've been having uh, so far this game. And now look at Navi, they're sort of merciless here, because Titan, they don't even have the answer to what's going on right here. And before they come up with the answer, Navi actually change it up and go a little bit aggressive. So now, you know, Titan have to essentially deal with something else instead, before they even get a chance to really figure it out. So this is Navi saying, all right, we waited a while for this match to get started, but we're ready and we're going to finish it quickly. Yeah, we want to sleep. <laughs> want to go home <laughs> to the hotel. Well, Kenny, RPK, and Existence left. And best case scenario here is you somehow get a kill and get in and get the bomb down. So you get a little bit of bonus money and you're able to play the 14th round a little bit better. But Seuss standing in the way, going to pick up the Tech 9 and take down Existence. So a clean round once again, 11 to 2. This is a complete slaughter. Yeah, and uh, so, far, I mean, Titan getting the last two rounds here. Just looking at, because they're not hitting their shots either. You have, uh, obviously only, you have Kenny with the AWP, and you always know that he's going to at least get, get a few frags on the board. But for the others, they really, they really have to try and work together here and just try to take some map control and just try to, do, to then do an execute together and without being too uh, obvious about it. Yeah, and I mean, how, how bad do you feel for Maniac right now? Who's just being interviewed saying, we, we just kind of hope this uh, tournament can help us build a little bit of confidence and, you know, <laughs> get the team back on tracks. And then they run into Navi. It's no fun at all. Probably a favorite to win this tournament. Yeah, well, if not one of yeah, yeah, exactly. Definitely uh, a grand final cont contender. It should be. It should be like that. Apex actually getting the perfect angle there, but just doesn't hold down mouse one quite long enough. And uh, he's going to leave Sue standing for a little bit. Boost up here. And Titan being fairly aggressive in the middle once again. 
I like that idea, but they need those entry frags, otherwise this is not going to work out for them. Apex trying to see if he can push up, and that's his job. And he does it very well. I still think one of the best entry fraggers in Europe, but... I mean, the whole team right now doesn't seem to be functioning on almost any level. Maniac is going to be going down, so... Zeus will get the frag, and he just barely survives as well. Apex pushing up, going to take down Flamey. Can he get another one here? Guardian playing right at the edge, double scoping to see if he can see past the smoke here. Not going to catch the bomb going down, though. Up on the ticket booth and taking down Kenny. Going for a second one. He's loving it right now. Edward there to back him up and dropping Apex as he tries to push through. Now down to RP Ken Existence. That bomb ticking away in sight, but they're fighting and maybe they don't need to. RPK actually runs out of apartments, which might actually be a good move here. Going to be taking down Guardian, but he can't drop Edward. And Navi will win the round anyway, but... Realistically speaking, if he stays in the apartments and there's three people left, there's no way he's going to stop the diffusers there. No, 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 no. Exactly. He has the actually has to peek it. Uh, coming into just to execute, just the, the standard round Titan had. That's what I was talking about. The whole the whole half where you take mid control like like they did, try to get someone in window. You know, split A. It worked. They got the bomb down. They, it was a three on three after they ended up falling. So, oh, and now look at this scumbag Navi. Double auto sniper, one AWP. Like Titan didn't have a hard enough life as it was. So you're just gonna rub it in their oh, faces the timing, here. Though. Yeah, look at this flamey oh, shooting them no. down. Triple kill, and it's gonna be Kenny, the last man standing in a one v three. Not a lot that he could do. The one auto sniper fell quickly. The other one almost took down their whole team. And Kenny left alone here, trying to see if he can clutch it. He's actually getting a triple kill. So now it's between Edward and. Kenny, and I'm surprised that he's actually got to this stage. He's got plenty of time, but he needs to figure out where Edward is holding, and you can tell he's not quite sure. Yeah, and he has a lot of time to work with as well, so he can't just potentially take his time here. Maybe get Edward a little bit worried as well, thinking, well, could he flag me right now? Oh yeah, he probably, he probably can. And just trying to switch and just make sure he doesn't get caught off guard. You see here even in the X-ray, Edward thinking that he's actually flanking. Yeah, definitely some well, it doubt. It does cause a stir if you just wait. You don't, have to, you don't have to do anything. Oh, but that grenade definitely gives a lot of weight. For one thing, now Edward knows that he's still on the site. Molotov goes down, but Edward is already out. Kenny has almost no idea. I'm not sure if he spotted him going back, but Edward definitely saw that. And he's just going to smoke him off, and that's going to make life a little bit more difficult. Molotov onto the bomb, but Edward has a oh. kid. He's got time. The grenade to take down Kenny, and Edward just calmly and patiently waiting. What a way to finish what was otherwise a pretty good round for Kenny. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, um, I mean, Flamey doing work there on the A-bombs with the auto-snipe. Getting three, I have no idea what Seas did. There's a smoke down in CT spawn. It's a two-on-one situation in favor of yourself. And he's thinking, yeah. let's run through the smoke. I think that might just be, look, we're winning so much, we I don't, don't even care a, anymore. I don't give a damn, yeah. Perhaps. Uh, how, many, how many vodka Red Bulls is it going to take for Titan to forget this match? Giving me a rough, rough figure. Uh, a fi a fi oh. Just a rough estimate. I mean, obviously it depends on the company as well. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's important. Yeah, but uh, at, at least six. At least six per person, right? Uh, yeah, well, obviously. All right. It's a good figure right there. Moving into the second half, it's going to be an uphill battle pretty much no matter what happens. But if Titan don't win the pistol round, then they will just be knocked out straight away. If they win the pistol, they get to fight a little bit longer and maybe build some of that confidence that Maniac was talking about. Those seized, making it very hard. And he's got the raid boss build as well. Armor and Tech-9. And he gets a double kill for it. Flamey now hunting and mid-air headshot onto Apex. It's going to be Kenny and RPK left. This is a bloodbath. I've never rarely seen actually Titan treated like this. Navi right now are looking oh, wow. very strong. It's a great shot from Kenny, but it's not going to matter. RPK pushing up behind, looking for Edward. Kenny goes down. Edward, oh sorry, RPK is soon to fall. And there's the shot. So 14 to 2. Yeah, and I mean, Titan is just getting outplayed right now. Obviously, just comparing Titan to Navi in terms of raw skill, Navi has way more of it. But Titan obviously always ne never really used to rely on, on raw skill. They had a tactics for it, and you, then you have the help of, uh, of a player like Kenny that's supposed to begin, bring in the big numbers. You have a player like Apex that's supposed to be, you know, your entry fragger, your go-to guy, and it just, it just hasn't happened this, th for this whole game. And now losing the pistol on their, on their CT side as well, it's, it's not pretty right now. 
Oh, and I love this Molotov into Shadows as well. Followed up with the default A execute coming in here from Na'Vi. They were quick to do it. It took Titan a long time before they decided to try something that's very basic. Um, but it seems to be working out all right here as they are running the site down and Maniac and Kenny, the last two people left. Bomb has been planted. Maniac sneaking through the smoke, looking for a kill. It's going to pick up Seized and there's two left. It's just uh, two headshots and he's good to go, but... Na'Vi are trying to do the best they can to try and stay back here. Guardian playing a bit of a dangerous game. Edward, easy spray down. And it's match and map point here for Na'Vi. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, of course, you get a buy if you're Titan. Uh, on the pistol, you try to push. On the, on the first save that you had, or the full, full buy, yeah. you just try to hold your positions. Right now, at like this point in time, it's just, it's just really a matter of saving, saving yourself the humiliation of getting 16 2 by Navi. <laughs> Trying to see if you can come back from that, yeah. I don't know. This is this is turning into a bit of a disaster here for the for the Titan team. They've been seen, they've been very, very shaky for a very long time. Actually, Sus is gonna do that Molotov again up there, even though he can't see anything, which I absolutely love. It's right knowing that angle. And Flamey will return the frag that was put in by Apex and going back and forth. Existence gonna burn alive here, but still working out for Titan as they are in a 1v2 right now. Edward picking up the return frag on Apex and the bomb and making a run for it. Yeah, but it, by the looks of it at least, it looks like uh, Titan saved themselves from... or they saved themselves for one more round at least. Maybe, but if Edward gets the bomb down... Yeah, there's actually a kit it. on Maniac, but I was gonna say he has a Molotov as well. well. We've seen what that can do sometimes if the bomb is planted. It looks like Titan are maybe are a bit slow here to react. Yeah, I mean if, if Edward were to know this, it would play it smart, get the bomb back, go, go into the kitchen area, right? Getting the initial frag. Chance to Ardo, he's just going to play it very safe, yeah, yeah, behind there. This is a very bad situation in one on two, though, because you get very sandwiched. You, get, you, you let the CTs actually become, like, get very close to you, and then it's all a matter of if you end up getting the first headshot right away, and it's a one-on-one, -on -one, and the person doesn't have time to revenge frag you, yeah, then you can potentially win it. But when you see here, they're all moving so close, right? Yeah, he's going to have to get this really well. Bomb attempted once. Edward going to walk right in and get that headshot. And Kenny coming in. And look at that. Edward pre-firing around the corner. Now the 16-2 Titan on this Mirage yeah. map. Completely convincing victory. Yeah, and that, that was the situation I was talking about. He gets the first one. And he has time to actually readjust himself. Because Kenny has was, was, uh, was nowhere to be found. It was way too far, uh, far uh, behind. So uh, overall, I mean, very impressive by by Na'Vi. Titan seemed a little bit out of it, though. Yeah, and you know, it should have been Na'Vi that were a little bit shaky with two members just coming in from the airport, no time to really do anything. Yeah. And instead, I mean, more evidence, I think, that this Titan team is... Look, he's so happy he's crying. <laughs> Can't believe it. We beat them. <laughs> oh, scary match, uh, but not for Na'Vi. They, they